Welcome to getting started with the RoboCompass tutorial. In this video, we will introduce the interface of the robotic geometry box RoboCompass. You can use RoboCompass to simulate geometrical constructions in presentations and classroom activities. Beginning at the RoboCompass.com homepage, launch the RoboCompass application by clicking on the Open RoboCompass button. If you are not already signed in to your Google account, take a moment to sign in right from RoboCompass by using the Sign In button on the upper right corner of the menu bar. You must be signed in to save your work to Google Drive and to share your worksheets. Once you have signed in, two additional items will appear on the menu bar, the Options tab and the User ID tab. You will use the User ID tab to retrieve your worksheets from Google Drive by clicking on your login name and selecting My Files option from the drop-down menu. To open a locally saved file, click on the Options tab and select Open File to browse your computer. The RoboCompass application window is divided into two parts. The Command Editor where commands and text are entered on step-by-step -step command lines and the play surface where the geometry constructions are viewed. Whenever you need to clear active work, click the delete icon in the command editor window. This does not delete a saved worksheet. It will only remove unsaved changes made during this session. Now let's use a basic construction of an equilateral triangle to explore the command editor window and introduce some basic commands. RoboCompass utilizes a short list of drawing and helper commands. Click on the How To button at the upper right corner of the mini bar for the full list of commands. RoboCompass's autocomplete feature and pop-up hints will help you remember and enter the commands correctly. We will begin our construction by using the point command on the first command line key point 4 comma 5. The first point will be graphed instantaneously. Points can be edited by clicking on the command line and entering new values. Add a label to the point by inserting your cursor before the command and keying A followed by an equal sign. To change the object properties, click on the gear icon that appears to the right side of the command line when it is the active object. In the settings dialog box, you can change the colors, offset the labels, add a comment, and control the speed of the playback. Comments entered using the settings box are displayed at the top of the play surface as the objects are created during playback. To set one play speed for all command lines, check the Apply Speed to All option in the Settings dialog box. The speed of individual command lines may still be set without affecting the speed of the other command lines. To change the sequence of a construction playback, drag and drop the command lines to reorder them. Delete individual command lines by clicking on the X icon that appears on the right side of an active line. Each line can be played individually to review the step by clicking the play button on the command line. To add a direction note on a command line, use the text command and enter the text between quotes. The direction note will then be displayed at the top of the play surface. Next, construct point B. Key B equals parentheses 12 comma 5. Now let's try adding text to a line command. Key the command text parentheses quotes draw segment lowercase a equals AB between points A and B. This direction will appear above the play surface before segment A is drawn. We'll now finish our line segment by entering the command lowercase a 
equals nine, parentheses a comma b. Next, construct two intersecting arcs C and D with the radius of the length of segment AB using the arc command. Create an intersection point using the intersect command. Complete the triangle by creating two lines, E and F, between point AC and BC. Use the hide command to hide the arc at the end. Using the hide command to clear unnecessary line drawings and points will give your completed construction a clear and professional look. Use the Play All button at the top of the command window to see the full playback of the construction sequence. Save your worksheet to Google Drive by clicking on the Untitled tab on the menu bar. In the Save dialog box, you can give your worksheet a title and add a description. When you click the Save Robo button in the Save dialog box, a Share button appears in the window. By clicking on the Share button, the URL for sharing this worksheet will be created. Viewers of a worksheet can also save and generate a Share URL by clicking the Options tab on the menu bar and selecting Share URL from the drop-down menu. A worksheet can be embedded into a blog or website by selecting Embed from the Options drop-down menu. This completes our introduction to the RoboCompass interface. Thank you for watching.